your character was described as a wild child trying to outrun her past. Mm. Do you agree with that? I think, you know, once we, once we got on board, Sam uh, and, and Craig and the writers were really collaborative and uh -huh. sort of, um, I think that was the initial direction, but uh, she evolved, Kelly, Kelly evolved from there. So she is trying to run away from her past in some guilt, but she also is, is a real badass in the making. Um, she is tough. She is totally unfiltered and not afraid to speak her mind. And she's smart. Um, and I think that that's when, when, when Pablo sort of drags her into this fight against evil, that's what she brings to Ash is some common sense. And you're both at the store. And you have terrific chemistry together. I just love both oh, of you. Thank, thank you. you. And for you, the hair, I am so jealous of that. <laughs> I wish I could grow that much. The hair is its own the character. The hair is, show. you know what? Who's your agent and who represents your hair? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, me and me. Hello. It, it's like a prince meets Kramer with like a modern edge. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. My, uh, funny that you bring my agents into this. Uh -huh. I had a lot of people tell me like, you need to cut your hair. You need to shave your mustache. You're limiting, you're limiting yourself. Like no one's gonna wanna hire you. And I was like, yo. This is the look that I'm trying to make happen. Right. And you gotta be who you are, and you gotta know who you are and embrace it. And I think that, you know, it's just funny because that's kind of what our show is about, you know, is 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 holding fast to who you are, you know what I mean? And, and didn't you say that, that Pablo realizes or learns that he can be whatever he wants to be? Totally. I, I think, you know, I idolize Ash, and, and, and through idolizing Ash, it's not that I want to be like Ash, but right. I realize that I can be whatever man I want to be. He shows And he's me. got smarts, too. You both do. Yeah. I mean, he's like, you know, he's definitely he's the muscle. Smart. Right. Yeah. He's... Like, Ash oh, can oh, be oh, oh, yeah, Pablo. Yeah. Pablo. Oh, Pablo yeah. is tech, Pablo. tech smart. He's, he's tech smart. Yes. Uh, you know, he makes people think that he... You, people probably look at him and they're like, oh, this guy, you know, he's from Honduras. Yeah, right. like, he's not that smart. But no, he, he is. He actually is uh, very, very um, crafty and, like, knows how to manipulate mm. a situation uh -huh. into making... Into, into learning from using the fact that maybe he's not as smart. Would you ever like to direct an episode of Ash vs. Evil Dead? Oh my goodness. Yes, I would. <laughs> yes, you know, my parents always, uh, I'm known in my family as, as being the, the control person. And yeah. so my parents growing up, I mean, I've loved performing since I was three years old. I would tell jokes to myself on my Fisher Price ta tape recorder. <laughs> no, honestly, I have the recordings she when I was three. played it for me. Did you really? Like, no, it's, it's like, what did the apple say to the ever. banana? He said, hello, big bird, bah! And I would just laugh at myself. It's the but my, my parents, the joke in my family is, you know what, you should have been as a director, because I like to direct, I like to tell everyone in my family what to do and how to do it, Some, but like, out of love. But I feel like I'm Sam Raimi, I just have passion. I have passion to tell a story. So that's, that. my family, I think, uh, is finally getting that. What was it like, Ray? to go down Sunset Boulevard and see yourself on a billboard above Sunset Boulevard for Ash vs. Evil Dead. I gotta say, I thought that I was gonna like have a moment where I like cried and felt like, oh wow, is this really happening? But it was, um, it was just fun. It was just, you know, it didn't happen uh, for me when I saw it. Yeah. It sort of hit me when I was driving away and I was in my car and it's like, you know, you work really hard and you sort of started the interview with, you know, what it, what it means to be an actor that's employed, yes. you know, and I've spent over 10 years uh, sort of going like the, on this roller coaster and to, to be able to have this opportunity and to be working and to have that billboard, it just, it just is a sign from the world that if you put time into something and the world speaks to you that you're doing the right thing so it just felt like I was on the right track so I'm just happy to be here and blessed yeah. and follow your passion is the bottom line and 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 if you, you will see it through I mean I almost got into an accident when I was driving because I didn't really realize it was there and I saw in the <laughs> rear view mirror I was on sunset I was talking to my friend I honestly almost caused an accident because but then I pulled over and took a picture and